This is the diagnosis of type 2 heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. Remember that type 1 heparin-induced thrombocytopenia is a mild non-immune reaction that occurs two to five days after heparin exposure. It's characterized by temporary platelet aggregation and mild thrombocytopenia without clinical significance. Type 2, however, is more serious. It's an immune-mediated disorder that occurs five to nine days after heparin exposure though there are rare rapid onset cases that can occur from previously exposed patients. In type two, you have a severe thrombocytopenia with your platelets dropping below 100 or at least a 30 to 50% drop from your baseline and it carries a 20% risk of thrombosis. So type two is the more serious and severe case and that's the diagnosis that we'll be talking about. The diagnosis involves three tests. We mainly use the first two, the serotonin release assay, or SRA, which is considered the gold standard, and the ELISA test for heparin platelet factor IV complexes. The most reliable diagnostic test combines them. A positive SRA with a positive ELISA confirms the diagnosis of heparin-induced uh, thrombocytopenia type 2. If you have negative for both, it makes it very, very unlikely. If you have a positive SRA and a negative ELISA, it makes the diagnosis likely. And if you have a negative SRA and a positive ELISA, it makes the diagnosis unlikely.